A very beautiful Wednesday evening from wherever you are. This is Jalango TV and the program on air definitely Bonga Najalas. Today is the 16th of June when we always celebrate the day of the African child. And today we have the queen herself, Wendy Mother. Every other person, the time I posted, I posted her photo out there. Every my face in the empire. In the empire. Please. Let's celebrate the African child in the best way possible. Karibu sana wendi. Sanitize. Sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> sanitize. You should be one of the people who should be ambassador of sanitizing. Sindio? Yes. <laughs> have you been? I've been good. How about you? We are okay. Mm -hmm. We have been here waiting to hear this amazing, amazing story. Everybody was asking, Kwani, what is Wendy's story? Definitely, I'm saying that uh, she should be the ambassador of uh, sanitizing because you are a two-time corona positive uh, survivor unfortunately yes so what happened so i had gone for a photo shoot all right like i had photo shoots in the course of like two weeks before that mm -hmm. and i just i just felt like my my sense of taste and smell and smell had disappeared. So you could not smell, taste anything? I could not taste anything. Uh -huh. I could not smell anything. Even when you are cooking? Nothing. This corona is bad. I'm telling you. Unakatakata vitungu, unakatakata vitungu, unakatakata vitungu, Nothing. Nothing? Zero. So what happened? So I was like, I didn't want to think that I had corona. Because uh -huh. I was like, ah. But then I told my mom mm -hmm. about my symptoms and she was like, you have to get tested. Okay. And true to it, when I got tested, it was positive. You were positive? Yes. So you got it from a photo shoot? Yes. Okay. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yes. Yes. That's where I got it from. Uh -huh. Yes. Then you, you, you isolated and everything? Yes, I isolated. They normally say after two weeks, you get tested again and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So two weeks went by, actually two and a half weeks, then I got tested again, I was still positive. Now wow. the symptoms got worse, I started feeling weak, started feeling tired, like my appetite was disappearing, mm -hmm. so it became like it came two times mm -hmm. stronger. What? Yes. So it was, it was a really low time for me in my life, honestly. Well, what our mini kuna corona, corona is actually there. It's actually there. It's really there. Wow, so you lost your sense of smell? Taste. And taste yes. and everything. Yes. The star the other day wrote a very alarming headline mm -hmm. that uh, Corona actually makes you lose libido. And uh, from that time, I just decided <laughs> mask all the time and sanitize it <laughs> because I'd rather lose the sense of touch and <laughs> smell and uh, sanitize it. When he stops smiling. <laughs> the star you sent very alarming, 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 very alarming headline. It's not good. If, if, but if you have not been masking up, if you've not been sanitizing, today we have somebody who actually tasted positive of Corona twice and survived it and she's here to tell the story. But definitely, let's start all this from a different end. Who's Wendy? Wendy, Wendy Mwada Mwimi is a, is a mom. Mm -hmm. Yes, is a model. Wendy Mwada Mwimi is a diplomat. I did... Um, diplomacy in school mm -hmm. so she's a peace giver she's a peace carer and she's just an all-round happy person mm -hmm. yes. and also a content creator yes how did you get yourself into the space of creating content actually how i got into youtube i got into youtube through a friend of mine so she was one who had the idea of doing youtube because we had both just given birth and she was like why don't we do a channel about um young moms so I was like, ah, I'm not really someone who likes being out there, which is very funny because I'm a model. Mm -hmm. So it, it contradicts the story. But she was like, why don't we do a YouTube channel to inspire? Maybe there are other people going through motherhood and they are young and they don't know how to go about it. So I was like, okay, it sounds like a good idea. So that's how I got into the YouTube space. Uh -huh. yes. And you started creating vlogs for your, your child? Yes. Uh, with your friend? Yes, with my friend. Uh -huh. Then down the line, um, you know, people have different paths in life. Mm -hmm. So she, we were staying in, in the same area. Mm -hmm. So she moved out. So 
doing videos together became a hassle. Uh -huh. Then I started working. She also started her school, so we ended up just splitting ways. Uh -huh. Yes. And now you've gone ahead and just took, taken the space, and you are moving on with it. Yes, I just decided to start my own channel because mm -hmm. now people are asking me like, why don't you come back into the YouTube space? We miss you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah, let me just start my own channel. Where were you getting all this time, and you were working? I actually started working in. 2019 mm -hmm. in August. That's mm -hmm. when I started working. Mm -hmm. So while I was working, when I get free time, is when I do videos because now the job I was doing, the timings are very different. Mm -hmm. Like you'll get yourself going to work at 3 a.m. Other times you're going to work at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. So I had to balance. And what work was this? I was a cabin crew at Kenya Airways. All right. Yes. Which you still do to date. Currently, no, because of Corona, so we were laid off, but mm -hmm. hopefully really praying that they get us back mm -hmm. on track, yes, because wow. it was a really good job. It was a, a job that you A like. great job, actually. <laughs> what job pays you to go and sleep outside in different hotels uh -huh. and just, you know, travel to different countries? It was a good job. But it's a hard job, too. It is a hard job, mm -hmm. because I can only be Sirani on the aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> On the aircraft. Well, Kenya, mm. I hear Kenyans and Nigerians trouble. Nigerians, mm. my friend, you have to pack double the meals because those guys can eat. Mm -hmm. They eat proper. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Kenyans ni kusubwa. Kenyans ni wachokozi tu. Kwanza kisha lewa. Kusikia Me nataka kusaviwa na Wendy. Wendy peke yake ndo andani serve. It's like you're in your personal restaurant. Yes. So mutu wako kwa ndege lakini anadhani ya kumiali. Yes. Wow, Wendy, let's take this well, interview from the beginning. Today we are celebrating uh, the African child, yeah. the story of an African child. And yours is about excellence, resilience, and uh, coming back even after so many downfalls, yeah. being laid off, uh, being a new mother and all. Where were you born? And uh, uh, Tell us this story. Born and bred Nairobi, everything, school yes, and everything? Yes, from Nairobi, I went to high school at St. Lucie Kiriri, mm -hmm. Gidurai 45. Mm -hmm. And then I went wait, to... Wait, Yes. Gidurai 45. Yes. Even the Yonaka. <laughs> Hi, sanitize. Papa, can you know me now? I'm going to go now. Okay. That school was known for... For that area, uh -huh. it was known to have like beautiful... Ladies. Ladies. Oh, yes. So I was in school at St. Lucie Kiriri from 1 to form 4. Mm. And then university, I went to African Nazarene University okay. in town, not the main campus. All right. Yes, because I was doing evening classes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Primary, St. Nicholas. Abu Ngong Road. Okay. Yes, that's mm -hmm. where I went to primary school. Mm -hmm. So I'm a I'm a full born Nairobi girl. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, then from that time, that's how you got your job into uh, into KQ. So KQ, mm -hmm. actually, I wanted to to join KQ right after I finished uh, high school, mm -hmm. but I couldn't do that because I was still too young. I finished high school at 17. Yes, that's mm -hmm. when I was turning 17. So my mom was like, okay, we, you just do your course mm -hmm. as you wait now to go and do your certificate at Kenya Airways. Mm -hmm. So now that, when I finished university, now that's when I went to Kenya Airways. And, that's when and then you do, yeah, you do training for three months. Mm -hmm. And then you just cross your fingers that they call you for a job mm -hmm. interview, yes. And you got picked. Yes. And that is how you started flying. Yes, that's how I started flying. To which countries? Or are you doing international or just local flights? Now when we are going to do international flights, mm -hmm. even now, job is But never... But I went to South Africa mm -hmm. and I went to Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the places that you were going and you're sleeping over, and you lay over. Mm -hmm. That's what it was called. So you go to those countries mm -hmm. and you sleep there. And then now you go back the next day or mm. two days after. Wow. Yes. So between that time, that's when you got married and got your baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about that. No, actually, no, before that. That mm. was before because my baby was born in 2017. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you were how old? When I was 21. 21. Yes. Okay. That's when I had my first child. Mm. Okay. Yes. And that's you, you, you got married, everything? No, I didn't get married during okay. that time. I'm not married yet. Okay. Yes. So what happened? Tell us about it. So, um,. How do I say it? Being pregnant in an African household, you can't even think about it. Like, we can be to say, and I'm being that you are that mom, Nikona Mimba, and that time I was 20 years. It was, it was not easy, but 
surprisingly my parents supported me very very well well in, they supported me they were behind me 100 percent so it was a very easy time for me i didn't feel like it was a burden, mm -hmm. yes, if I can say that. So my parents are very supportive. I just had a very good support system mm -hmm. when I was having my son. Now this was plan, all plan, and you were ready for everything? Yes. Uh -huh. Now let me, let me ask you, as you're celebrating the, the, the day of the African uh, child, yes. now let's take it now back to uh, the girl child maybe, mm -hmm. and uh, to young mothers out there. Uh, who are looking for the support of their parents and all? What you do talk to the, uh, what you do tell them, uh, those who are not getting the support, and to parents whose uh, young daughters come home and tell them that you know what, mommy, daddy, I'm pregnant. Yes. Mm -hmm. The main reason I started my channel actually is not to encourage people to become young moms, but to support those that have already found themselves becoming young moms. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if, if you're not a young mom yet, don't rush to be a young mom. I don't know why. Sometimes people feel like giving birth early like, is a positive thing. And yes, it's a good thing because you grow up with your child. But at the same time, you have to really sacrifice a lot. Like you have to sacrifice your time. You have to sacrifice your energy. You literally have to sacrifice everything about you to cater for this small child. You understand? Mm -hmm. So there's no way that you can become a young mom if you're not ready for it. And nobody is ever ready for motherhood, if I can say that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll plan for it, but there's no, like, in a mm -hmm. prescription that there's even no your... There's no prescription that yeah, this is the way that you this go. is how you do, like, you follow it, the rules. There's no prescription to how motherhood is. Unajipatanga too, and you figure things out as, as you go along. So I tell parents, like, if your child comes to you and tells you that, mom, like, I'm pregnant, Already telling you I'm pregnant is such a big deal. It takes a lot from you to come and confess this, especially when you expect a certain type of reception, like unajowata kwa wakali. You just know how, how African households are. See kama vile, the Western world takes things like that. So if your child comes to you and tells you, mom, dad, I'm expecting, first of all, just tell them, like you're my child, I accept you the way you are. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because what to talk about Mungu at the end of the day. So it's all a little bit of a little And it's true. You think it's just a statement, but it's true because you get this child. Now, how do you, how you're going to take care of this child? But it just works out. Mm -hmm. So just be there for your children and just be there for them. That's the best thing I can say. Be supportful. Like, wapende. Because me, my dad was saying, that's not the worst thing that can happen to her. You understand? Mm -hmm. Getting a child is not the worst thing that can happen to you. Like you need to have people around you that support you enough for you to know that this is a life that you're giving birth to. This is someone that you're taking care of. This is a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So, 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 you know, during this period of Corona, we had so many young girls, mm -hmm. uh, teenagers, uh, at least you, you were 21 mm. at that time. We had young uh, ch children, I would call them children, yeah. who call them children, from even as, as low as the age of 13, 14, 15, in their thousands, eh, getting pregnant out here. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe your word to them would really be something that could uplift them. You know, maybe most of them are giving up right now. Mm -hmm. And even through your channel, you still talk about this. What, you, what would you tell them? This very, very young girls, given the fact that you've actually gone through this. Yes. I tell them that it's not the end of life. The fact that you have a child is supposed to even push you more to want to become a better person in life, push you more to want to achieve better things, to achieve greater heights. I always tell people, every time I look at my son, he reminds me that I do not have a chance to give up. Like, I, I don't have the energy to give up. So anytime you feel like you're feeling low or you feel like just pray and just be as resourceful as possible. Try as much as you can to help yourself because mama So you're the only one who can be there for your child like a hundred percent. Yes, they are fathers, yes, they are relatives and all that. But Watoto na Mama there is a special bond there because you grew this child to to term. 
and you gave birth to this child, to a whole human being. So I tell you not to give up. No, Kani Shule, Maliza Shule. Actually, when I, was, when I was pregnant, I was still in school. I was still in university. Okay. Yes, I was still, I finished... I finished my, my last semesters of university when I was pregnant and surprisingly those are the semesters that I performed the best. I even got like honor awards and stuff like that. So don't give up. You do not have a chance to give up. You don't even have the energy to give up. Giving up should not even be in your vocabulary. Unangangana, na ukingangana, 100% sure you're going to make it. Because as they say, hard work pays. So you have to hard work for what you want. You have to work hard for what you want. Wow, so how old is your son now? He's turning four in a month. In a month? Yes. Wow, and you talked about your lessons before 25. Yes. Your lessons at 25. Yes. What are these lessons? 25 good lessons that I've learned in 25 years of my life. First things first. You're a mother of one, right? I was to be a mother of two, but one, yes. Okay, <laughs> 25 lessons. Yes, 25 lessons at 25. One. One lesson. Not everyone is your friend. Those are not your friends. You need to understand the difference between acquaintances, the difference between people who are just in your life as passerby and people who are in your life to stay. You do not go around calling everyone your friend. It doesn't work like that. I've always said it. If you want to really know your true friends, do not go out there calling people friends. Yes. I don't know if you saw that clip. It's been going around. I said, do not go out there calling everybody your friend, my neighbor, my family, mm -hmm. until your hard time introduce you to your true friends. That's you true. want to tell me all your friends and the people you thought would be there for you, abandoned you at the moment you needed them most? Actually, no. My friends are actually my biggest support system. I don't have many friends. Mm -hmm. That's just the thing. I have like six, seven friends. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Other people are just like people you like, but they're not at a deep, deep friend. But you are, did your situations actually now introduce and unveil for you your really, really true friends? Yes. Uh -huh. They just showed that the people that were around me actually supported me. The people that I called my friends were actually my friends. There are so many experiences where there are so many people who've come and DM'd me like, hey, I mean, my friends left me because I was pregnant, or nini nini, and I'm just like, why? Like, I don't understand. Why would people leave you because you're pregnant? It doesn't make sense to me. Lesson number two. Love yourself. Love yourself. Jipende. Mm -hmm. Jipende. Yani, take care of yourself. The way you love yourself is the way other people will treat you. If you've never known. Kama ujipendi, usi expect mtu mgini ya kupende. When you're talking about kujipenda, uh, what do you mean? Yani, just be selfish with your, with your time. Unela, don't be going around giving everyone your energy. I don't know if you understand me. I understand you. Don't go around just being, like sharing yourself with everybody. You're an experience. Do you go around talking to everybody on the street? I know. Being with you here is an honor actually. Mm -hmm. Sitting with you is an honor. Mm -hmm. So you need to, to carry yourself in a way that other people will will appreciate you when you walk in their lives. Unajipenda yani? Unajichunga, unavadizuri, unaoga, unabrash meno. Kuoga, nani? Umesikia jipende. And it starts from small things, like a big thing. Be, sugua meno nani? Lesson number three? Lesson number three. Don't give up. Don't give up. Do not give up in this life. Cinema talk seven. You do not have giving up should not be in, in your vocabulary. Mm. Should not be an option anyway. No. Day. Especially in night time. Mm. Giving up has been an option for so many, but you always have to find something that motivates you. If it was not a lesson, where did you feel that you are almost giving up? <sighs> when I got sick. I felt like giving up, especially when now my son had to be taken to my parents' house. That to be time, isolated. Yes, to be isolated because we couldn't stay together. So that was that was a low point for me. Giving up in the sense that, like I told you, um, I was supposed to be a mother again, but because of life, that didn't happen. 
You understand? What happened? I don't know. My baby just stopped kicking. And you went for scan? Yes. I had a scan done, everything. And yeah, that's just how life is. So you lost the baby? Mm. I think it was a month ago. A month ago? Mm -hmm. We are talking about a month ago? Yes. You are how many months into pregnancy? I was going to seven months. Very sorry about that. Thank you. But you've healed from it, have you? I'm in the process. I can't say it's been easy. Some days I wake up and I'm just like, I want to cry my eyes out. And some days I'm just like, you know what? I need to get my life back on track. That's what I'm saying. Giving up is not an option. Because if, if I give up... And you know, you don't have to cry anymore. I know it, could, it can be very hard. Yeah. Because even your eyes are, are showing. Yes. Mm. Must like, be long like, nights and all this stuff. It is, actually. After, after it happened, I think I cried for like two weeks straight. It was not an easy time. It's still not an easy time, but I'm just choosing to be positive. Wow. Guys, today is 16th of June and we are celebrating uh, the life and times of an African child and we are blessed to have Wendy here with me. Uh, a big shout out to Sharon Kandie. She says, Wendy, we love you so much. Julia Zontugo, Nasema, Paula Sana Wendy. Ruby Nduiga Nasema, you are very, very strong, Wendy, and we love you. Florence Ndukanasema, yes, we love you so much. And uh, Wanjiro says, yes, she, we used to work together. We were both laid off. And uh, uh, we hope that one day we'll get that one call that uh, KQ will recall us back yeah. to work. Uh, a big shout out to, to Julia Suntuga. Anasema, uh, Anasema, see we... There goes my cousin Damari Celestine, and I say, my, There goes my cousin, my cousin Wendy. You know, Damari Celestine, and I say, my, Wow, loving it. Kapsa Jacob Chag, and I say, my, Polisana, much love from Ayuma, and I say, my, Edwin Okwema, and I say, my, Wendy, Sijali, Zinivitu, Nizadunia, uh, heaven, there's a lot for us. Mm? Tabasamu uh, anasema uh, Wendy amesema ukweli vijana tusugue meno jamani tusugue meno nimekaa kwa mat hapa na mdomo nimeweka tu nje na mapua thank god nilipata dirisha kiti kando ya dirisha <laughs> wa abdul ochega anasema god, god always have a reason mark Martin keep quiet and I say, my poly son, I'm rainbow. Your strength is what I'm loving this morning. This is the message I needed to tell my wife today. We lost our baby and uh, this is where we are. And uh, I'm loving it. That is uh, from Daniel. Daniel Kamara and I say, it's gonna be okay, Wendy. And I say, my lots of hugs for Wendy. May you heal from your loss. That is a financial hacker. I see Omondi and I say, much love from Taki Jacob Chaga and I say, God always has a reason. Thank you so much, Mr. Yes, I can't. 2022 says, big up Wendy. And she says, uh, Wendy is such a strong woman. Eva Wangari says, you are such a favored, you are so favored, Wendy, you are going to places, and in Jesus' name, I pray for you that all this will actually come to pass. Sorry, baby girl, Road Road says that, hey, Fisi, now Fisi, detective, baby, baby, I love and I wake my love, hearts, pally, stop it, stop it, stop it. Definitely, today's show is heavily sponsored by... Bambet, Bambet, yani Euro, Ibambe, and Bambet. Where have you been placing your bet during these amazing times that the Euros are here? Guys, I need you just to give me that hashtag Euro, Ibambe, and Bambet uh, as we go on with this, this amazing, amazing interview. We are yet to get to the core of this. Uh -huh. Bambet. Uh, have a lot of prizes lined for you up this uh, euro. Make sure that you check out www.bangbet.com. All I need you to do is to always remember the the magic magic number uh, that uh, it gives you a chance to get into Bangbet. SMS the word game. SMS the word game to two zero eight two nine two zero eight. Nine. We have two big, amazing, amazing games today. I think Taki is playing today. 
Turkey is playing today. Turkey, I think, is playing today. Where are you placing your bet? Definitely, if you're putting your bet anywhere, there's only one place to be. It's Turkey and Turkey and Wales. Turkey and Wales. Italy and Switzerland. Italy, Switzerland. Turkey, Wales. Italy, Switzerland. Apo weka pesa kwa Italy. Alafu weka pesa kwa Turkey. Hey. Gemi Bambe na Bambet. <laughs> 20829. SMS the word game so that you are part of the big story. This conversation is powered by Bambet this beautiful afternoon. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. You're not going to make me cry. I'm just trying to. <laughs> To see how I can run from 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 you making me cry, uh, James Muga says the positivity on Wendy's uh, and the attitude is what makes me uh, makes me uh, uh, want to watch this show even more. We have 393 people watching this beautiful afternoon, and uh, we are very sorry that uh, the show had to start very late. But in celebration of the beautiful uh, Wendy here and the African child, we didn't have a choice but to go on air this beautiful afternoon. Now, Wendy, le let me ask you, after all these things happening to you, all right, a mom at 21, all right, mm -hmm. uh, mom-to-be and baby dies, uh, you survive corona twice, you've lost your job, I'm telling you, what is keeping you going? What is keeping you going? And don't tell me that giving up is not an option. <laughs> if the people who, if they went all through this, yeah. they would have given up a long time ago. Yes. Okay, I normally say this to my friends. Like, I believe I was destined for something great. I believe that in this life, there's a there's an impact I'm supposed to make. There's a purpose that I have in this life. And I, until I achieve that purpose, I don't have room to give up, no matter what life throws at me. Every time I get an obstacle or every time something happens to me, I always believe that it's leading me to a bigger purpose. It's going to bring people in my life and it's going to help me motivate some people in their lives. Like there are people who are going through something and they feel like that's the worst thing they're going through. And then they come and hear my story and they're like, okay, mine is not as bad. I mean, they hear someone else's story and they're like, ah, okay, I need to be more appreciative and more grateful of the life that I'm living. So that's the thing that keeps me going. Because I believe that I'm, I'm meant for something great. That's what I believe. Wow, so that is what actually keeps you going. Yes. The desire for you to achieve your purpose. Yes. Wow. The last month has been a very, very difficult time for you. It has. I won't lie, it has. I think like, out of everything that has ever happened in my life, this was just the biggest blow to me, wow. honestly. I don't think I've ever, not even I don't think, I've never experienced something like that. Nothing like that? Nothing. So Wendy, which is this lesson number three, number four by the way, that you really has always wanted to share? Always be positive. Just be positive. It doesn't matter what you're going through. As long as you're positive, you'll always find a way out of a bad situation. They always say what you think in your mind is what you'll end up professing, or what you say with your tongue is what you'll end up professing. So if you say today that I'm going to get through this, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make sure that I get through this, believe you me, you will get through it. Because your attitude itself just works for you. Wow. Don't you think that all these things that you're saying are just ideals, but the reality on the ground? Of course it's harder. It's harder in, <coughs> in real life. It's very, very hard. It's very hard. But when you take the time to actually do it, you know, people say things like, they're motivational speakers. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you things. Utaskiza, uskiza. Na kaita ingi, ita ingia masikio moji, itokeka, ita ita ingia uandike. But at the end of the day, if you don't implement it in your life, you won't know whether it works or not. Awe, please, usiongea mamba ya motivation speaker. Niki kumbuka niliwai chukua namba ya mwingine nikiwa high school. Ama siku moja niliingia kwa hall, kabisa, kusikia motivation speaker na kalamu. 
inaniuma sana inaniuma sana so wait, let me ask you were you ready for your second uh, second baby yes i was mm -hmm. you had already planned yes because mm -hmm. i i was even believing okay now that i'm not even working mm -hmm. like this is the perfect time to mm -hmm. to like have another child mm -hmm. and close that chapter yes and just finish na yoma neno one time mm -hmm. mm. but you're not married I'm not married but I'm, I'm almost married. You are almost yes. married. Uh, so they, there's always there's something coming out all the way because I'm seeing uh, a ring on your finger. Yes, I'm engaged. You're engaged yes. to the father of your child? Yes. Wow. <laughs> At least something to smile about. <laughs> now by the way, do not engage her for long. <laughs> do not engage her for long. I always say the period between engagement yeah. should at least be a month or two. Yes. A month or two. This thing that I see people celebrating five years of engagement. Yeah, mm -mm. what what is wrong? If you know <laughs> No, we have to talk about this thing. It's a pandemic. Yes. So uh, let's say that I loved you, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And I know my girlfriend Wendy is hot, mm -hmm. but I just want to get her off the market as I go on parambulating. Yes. So the first trap I put is it's to engage engaged. you. So you are here engaged wondering, oh, when will Jalas come? When will Jalas come? When is Jalas come? Now, you must, yeah? Wendy has announced everywhere. What do you that mean? That she's engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Sanitize. I hope this guy. Buana, buana, ya Wendy, buana. I'll be the MC in that wedding, and I will do it. Now, chase a kama wewe. Sisi tunataka rusi next week. At least a good thing to happen. I think that will be a very big thing. It will. Will you invite me? Yes, why not? If you show up. Eh, yes, I will show up. <laughs> <laughs> Invitation si shida. Eh. Kama utakuja ndio shida. Kama nitakuja. Eh. So, hey, eh, unajua wendi, you told me so many things. Eh? And uh, one of our most... Uh, beautiful beautiful host she actually wanted to host this show mm -hmm. uh today uh, she's calling you now mm -hmm. who is also a young mother mm -hmm. all right i've never asked her when she had uh, her baby but uh, funny enough uh, the guy right behind her is called picture clear picture clear has this whole show on his youtube channel called burn in the oven mm -hmm. where uh, ladies come and talk about their journey mm -hmm. uh, during that time and there is a man how he started doing pregnancy <laughs> is something i really don't know he's a guy that guy there yes. check out his youtube channel guys check out for mothers out there young mothers go out there check out picture clear youtube channel as uh, 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 there's a part called burn in the oven people have shared their stories and i hope maybe you'll sit with him sure. and uh, it would be a very big thing yes. if you could share that journey with uh, the fans he has so many women who are following so many women are learning okay during pregnancy now mm -hmm. maybe talk to us what were you craving what was what was happening because me <laughs> sorted too as it took to a roof ya omena i took a roof ya nini lakini hajawahi kata roof ya pesa what is wrong si jawai sikia ni hai member yangu is i took a roof ya pesa a roof ya pesa me bag me kata what was the journey of how was it my ja wait with my first child yes yes um it was a very good journey actually this one you were 21 then yes gina how old were you 21 you see you share the same experience yes yeah. <laughs> it was a very good journey actually things that i never eat nilikuwa nashinda nimekula like right now i don't like i normally don't like pizza but during that time i was eating pizza a lot i am maembe ya pilipili wow 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 mind ya kuchomwa mind ya kuchomwa sasa ni hii sasa huyu ndiye alipenda mind okay mdani alipenda mtura wote hakuna mmoja alibagua wewe ukula mtura eh of course that is mandatory sanitize where do you live by the way wendy i live in avenue park oh avenue park yeah yeah avenue park i have amazing amazing uh, memories about avenue park so right behind avenue park is a so before then there never used to be a stage on that road yeah. and one mm -hmm. there's a road that goes to quarry mm -hmm. then they created a stage there called stage mpia yes is it still there it's still there now that is where i used to take my train to come to town 
when I used to live with my uncle mm -hmm. at uh, at uh, Embakasi Kwari. So I would take my train there and go to the National Theatre for acting yes. before I moved to my house in Mwiki. So that area has a very, very big need. So come here when I'm to get You see now, I'm going to say that area <laughs> and me, I'm from that area. So osmosis, <laughs> it's working very, very well. I become very, very. even me, <laughs> another Jalang. Yes, what do you want to create with the, your YouTube channel? What is your journey from this? What is What is the bigger vision around your work? I think the bigger vision is just to to create a safe space for young moms. There is a lot of backlash that comes with being a young mom, obviously, mm -hmm. in this time especially. So it will just create, I want to create a safe space for young moms in a way that we can come together and help other people that find themselves in the same scenario. I don't want to call it a situation, but they find this, themselves becoming mothers at a young age, whether willingly or unwillingly. So it just creates a safe space where we can all come together and support each other and just be there for one another so that you don't feel like you're alone. Because being alone when you're pregnant is the worst thing that can ever happen to you. Feeling like you have no support, it's, it's, it's not good for your, for your, for mental, your mental yes. and everything. Yes, you need all the support you can get. So have, are you planning to open uh, uh, maybe somewhere? Are you talking to caregivers? Are you talking to uh, uh, psychologists? Are you talking to therapists? Is it, how do you want to to do all this, this safe space that you created. Yes, now, you know, there are some people who unfortunately maybe get pregnant through unfortunate circumstances. Mm -hmm. You understand, like you probably get raped and you get pregnant. So someone like that needs a lot of support, needs a lot of therapy, needs just to have even uh, monetary support, like financial support. So I want to work with organizations that deal with mothers, you understand? Or even create an organization myself that can be there for other mothers, working with therapists, working with other young moms to actually come together and create like a group, like a support group. You understand? Like they can even be like a young mom circle where young moms contribute every, every month, every year, and then come together to create an event where young moms come together, you support them, you do shopping for them, you you pay even hospital bills, you understand? Yes. Things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where you want to take it? Yes. Wow, guys, I'm speaking and talking to Wendy Mwatha, definitely uh, a story that uh, we, if you hasn't inspired you of just not giving up in life, a story of pushing yourself despite all the odds coming your way. Can you imagine losing your job? Testing positive twice of Corona, being a mother and losing your second born, and you still strong and keeping on that brave face. Before we come back uh, and give Wendy a chance to just talk to young mothers, young African children out there and giving us that positivity, let me talk to you one more time about this amazing, amazing program called the Kenya Airlift Program. The Kenya Airlift Program is a program started by DK Kyokora and Bob Mwiti. This is a chance for you to go and pursue your IT related studies in the United States. They are doing this again and again. They have been pushing it and there are so many students that are going to the United States. Are you an IT enthusiast? If there's a word like that, is it? And imagine I'm going to America <laughs> in August and I can still not say it. Can you say it? Are you an IT enthusiast? Is that one? Do you love IT? Is that what you wanted to pursue? Okay. I've seen the calling letters are out here and students are going to different, different uh, high school who could happen. But now this is for those of you who after high school got a B plane and above. Watch this video to, so that you can see and know about the Kenya Airlift program. This is Jalango TV. Have you heard of the Kenya Airlift program? An initiative that supports Kenyan students to undertake IT related master's programs in the US to qualify. One must have a minimum of a B plane in KCSE plus a second class division in any undergraduate major. Apply. For details, visit www.kenyaairliftprogram.com or give us a call on plus 1813 573 5619. Kenya Airlift Program. 
empowering Kenyan students. Wow, definitely that is the Kenya Airlift program and uh, every other person who loves IT is loving it. Now, for one more time, let me tell you something. Euro Ibambe Nabangbet. That is the plan. Euro Ibambe Nabangbet. Please register now. Register now. SMS the word GAME to 208 to nine or log into www.bankbet.com na make sure make sure hiyo kama unatumia mulika mwizi kama unatumia mulika mwizi yani simu yako haiwezi ingia kwa www.bankbet.com you must you just sms the word game to 20829 kama kawaida tuko ndani mm -hmm. alafu hata kama hauna bundles hata kama hauna bundles the website at bankbet is for free you browse at a bila, uh, <coughs> bila uh, bundles and definitely don't forget about the 100,000 100,000 bob jackpot a 100,000 jackpot yenye wanapatiana today you will have if you uh, you will ha get free bets worth 120 by just signing up once you sign up you get 120 bob uh, for just signing up so make sure that you give me that hashtag uh, euro ibambe na bang bet twende kazi make sure that tonight taki and wales is it taki and wales or uh, uh, who taki and wales wales ni wabaya si ndio wales weka pesa hapo kwa wales ile ingine ni italy na switzerland italy na switzerland hiyo ni mbaya sana goal goal Utakula kakitu pale. Euro Ibambe na Bangbet. Now, definitely, Wendy, thank you so much for coming today. Now, on to this camera, Wendy. I want you to give us your final submission, your final advice, and just the journey and you picking up yourself. Yes, so I'd like to speak to a young mom out there. If you're watching this right now, I just want you to know that you're not alone. Whatever struggles that you're going through whatever anything that you're going through right now just know that you're not alone know that you have support out here you might not know it but a lot of people suffer behind the scenes and they want to portray as if they are they have it all together but nobody has it all together as a mother you have to be you still have to be a mom you still have to be yourself so i want you to know that before anything else you're a mom but even before you're a mom you are you there's a way that you carried yourself before you were a mother. I want you to remember the person that you were before you became a mom, and I don't want you to give up on that person. I want you to be there for yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Do everything you can in your power to be happy. That way you'll make everyone around you happy. Your baby will always be happy. And I just want you to reach out to me. I'm always free. You can reach me in my DMs. Uh, on Instagram at Wendy Mwatha. Follow me on my channel at Life with Wendy Mwatha. I'll always be there to give you advice the best way that I can. And if I haven't gone through what you've gone through, we can go through it together and learn through one another. And that way we can just be there for one another. Wow, you've had the handles definitely on Instagram at Wendy Mwatha. And if you can check my page, uh, I posted her and uh, the poster hey followers wakaanza kukuja huko kwako asante sana follow her and uh, make sure that she gets all the, those following tell a young mother that there's somebody somewhere who's trying to create a safe space for her to be able to talk to her check out her youtube channel her youtube channel live with wendy mwatha yes. Cindy, yes. thank you so much this is jalango tv and that was our conversation today as we celebrate the day of the african child and until next time this is Jalamo TV. Sanitize. <laughs> Imagine you took a job, and say that you and I come kind of. I love it. Story, you know, na like um hug, you know feel. So, so, nearly find it very hard. Eh? Nana need more attention, you know. Na. So, nearly wanna find it very hard, sana. Jupi ni nearly wanna six six. Kukumbuki nearly wanna imenza ko nose bleed. Ani nearly wanna gonjeka. Ani ayu. Yeah, I have a complication. I have a puke, but I have a puke, but I puke. My name is Ilam. I'm John, and this is our band in the, in the oven, oven story. story.